quick recap, we've set up this database for um, an asset management database and we've got our assets which, which has got a name and a manufacturer etc. Uh, we broke the manufacturer out into a related table so when I look in my assets all I see is a number 11211 and when I look at the manufacturers table that matches up here one and two one is HP two is Toshiba and I can have other things going on in those. Uh, we also had some of these assets were uh, mobile devices which could be issued to a user so we created the users table and rather than have that we'd have like a user field in here where we could match each asset up with a specific user which would work there's no problem with doing that we have opted to have a bit more flexibility by having a separate table in which we can issue an asset to a user and this enables us to have uh, more assets which are issued to multiple users um, so we might have like an asset which is issued to a, a user one year then it gets returned and then gets issued to a different user but this table would keep that information keep the history of that information so each record would be one of those issues and I've added in a return field and a date that it was issued and a notes field so again it just adds some extra flexibility by having that here now the problem that I'd like to address here is that when I look at this issues table all I've got is that asset number five has been is issued to asset to user number one um, which is not that helpful when we look at this now we did make a query so if I go assets issued to users we can see that that's PCLT150 was issued to Charlie Smith design view you can see that I've used those link tables I've grabbed from the assets table, the asset name, I'll grab from the users table and I'll grab from the issues table, the date, the username and the asset name. So in terms of reporting from the database that's absolutely fine but here's the main issue is that if I want to form, so I go into create and form, that form sucks. I have to know the, I, the asset ID and the user ID in order to issue them. So we're going to address that now uh, with lookups let's do this so I'm going to close everything because you know what access is like for complaining you've got stuff open and I'm going to go into this issues table in design view and the asset ID that's a number and we're going to I've select that field pop down to the lookup and I'm going to display as a combo and I have to say where what I am going to be looking up now we know that we're going to be looking this up in the assets table TBL assets see how useful it is to name things properly so you're saying look it up in whatever and if I didn't put QRY or TBL at the front of these it'd be hard to know which was which so yeah TBL assets I'm going to look it up in the assets table see it's worth doing bound column is column one uh, that's because that's always the ID the primary key uh, if you've got your field names in the wrong order you don't have the primary key at the top then it won't be one but that's wrong you should always have your primary key as the first one in the in the table it's just what we're used to uh, column count I'm going to bring across let's just have a look at this assets table I want um, asset asset name manufacturer I just want the asset name for now so the column count is I'm going to bring across two columns and that's the ID column and then the one that's subsequent to that which is the asset name uh, but in fact let's have a quick look at what that does now we've got that lookup I'm going to save that and go back to data sheet view and if I go to the asset ID and click in the field I get a drop down and it shows me the number and the asset that's pretty cool but when I go back to here I've still got just the number uh, we're going to cheat a little bit what we're going to do in design view is we're going to change the column widths first column is going to be zero centimeters wide that's that numeric um, primary key lookup and then the second one we make say two centimeters wide whatever sweet uh, let's change it to inches why would it do that that's just we live in New Zealand anyway so now we've got the asset ID and we can look up all the different assets down here and we could do the same with the users and the advantage now of course is that I close that and I go to TBL issues and click on create form 
Yay! Uh, if I can actually go into form proper form view rather than layout view, it's so much better. Yeah, I can select my uh, different thing and issue it to. Well, obviously, I haven't done the user yet, so that's your next job is to make this user ID a drop down as well. Good luck with that.